So starting with chapter 5 here, we have net present value and going over the investment criteria. So this whole topic is basically looking at how do different companies invest, how do they assess whether their investment has worked. And we're going to review the basic investment theories and learn how to assess good investments. Now, this is, before we even do that, why would you even make an investment, right? The investment needs to be made because the manager is looking to find a project X. And cash, there's cash there, right? And you could just pay that cash out to the shareholders. In fact, many companies these days actually just do that. They'll pay the money out because you know, ultimately you want your equity to be very attractive. And, and by that, you could either just give that money back or you can invest in something very lucrative. But if you're going to invest in something so-so, that might not even be worth it to begin with. And that's what this next couple modules, especially this one and the next one are about. How do you pick that investment to be the right one? So three points to remember about the whole NPV process is a dollar today is worth more than a dollar tomorrow. Net present value depends solely on the forecasted cash flows from the project and the opportunity cost of capital. Because present values are all measured in today's dollars, you can add them up. Okay, so the next piece we look at is CFO decision tools. And the CFO essentially uses these four methods, NPV, IRR, then payback period, and then book rate of return. Profitability is less popular. Okay, so we can look, look at book rate of return, basically net, net income over book assets. So it's essentially a return on, on uh, assets. It can be re almost called a return on investment. So that can go into the DuPont model. That's not what we're doing here because we're introducing more of a financial look at payback is how quickly are you going to get paid back on your investment? Take a year or two or three just to get your funds back. So also, you know, before you get sophisticated, you want to do this one because it really clarifies um, the cash flows at least. And that is uh, maybe the most important part of the, of the investment decision. Okay, now we look at an example. Uh, examine the three projects and note the mistake we would make if we insisted only on taking projects with a payback period of two years or less. So we can see here, two years or less, we want to make our payback, but actually in year three, we make $5,000, which gives us a huge return. So with that said, um, we have a positive NPV there, and the other one, B has a negative one, and C has a positive one, but still, we want to, payback period may take longer, but uh, of course, that's where you have to look at the cash flows and see how big are they um, on a present value basis. And that's that's where we're going to continue. We're going to look at net present value. We're going to look at discounting and how that impacts the calculation.